Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Quarter past 12 a.m. on a Thursday, when we're 14th. Is it November 2019? I'm raging. I'm like a volcano ready to erupt. Do you know why? Because the sport that I love, boxing, it's not it's not doing it for me no more. It's not doing it. What 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 where's, where are we heading with boxing at the moment? The main guy at the moment is Eddie Earn, but he was supposed to be saving boxing. He was saving boxing. Signed Carl Frotch, didn't he? Joshua. He's not saving it though, is he? Who's he signing now? Who's he signing KSI and Logan Paul? What's all that about? That's not boxing, is it? That's not what we're. That's not what we're expect. Not what we're expecting of Eddie, is it? There's only one man who can save boxing. Do you know who that is? Dana White. He's the only man that can save us all now. Dana White. He can do it. Do you know how? By coming over here and kicking Eddie Earn's ass. That's what he can do. And make it a competition. I mean, Eddie's just running riot now, isn't he? He's putting white collar shows on, passing them off as boxing shows. What is he doing? Hey, eh? We've got a show on November the 29th, right? And you know them kids on our show? They want to go to Sky, don't they, and Eddie Earn? They do. They're not going to say that to me. They're not going to say it to Dennis. Look at all the experience Dennis has got. He put Clinton Woods on and Roy Jones. Dennis broke Vegas with Ricky Hatton. They went 4-0 and and Ricky Hatton left him. That's crazy, isn't it? I've learned so much off Dennis in nearly five years. And I've seen a lot. And I've picked all the brains, all the trainers around him. Managers, boxers, I picked everybody's brains. And I don't think boxing's in a good place at the moment. And I don't think Frank Warren is young enough to take Eddie on. And I don't think Frank's son Francis is experienced enough yet. I don't think so, no. It needs sorting now. It's like a football team. They're, like Manchester United, they're not doing very good, are they? Manchester United are 10 years off doing anything now, they need to start from fresh. But if they wanted a quick fix, right, what they need to do is go buy good players, wouldn't they? But they're not doing that. Boxing needs more than a quick fix, it needs somebody young enough and brave enough and powerful enough who's got big balls. It needs somebody with big balls to take Eddie Earn on. Because Eddie Earn, we know what Eddie is, don't we? Uh, Eddie talks gangster, but he isn't, is he? He's not, is he? He's not a gangster, but he talks the, he talks a good game. But he's got the platform to talk a good game. What he needs is somebody that's not going to put with Eddie's nonsense. There's only Dana White who can do it. Now, I've never watched one UFC show in my life, because... I'm boxing, aren't I? Me boxing. I'm not against it. I think they all do great, but it's not for me. I'm not against UFC. I think what Conor McGregor's done is great. I watched him versus Mayweather. But I also watched Dana White in that promotion. And I thought, do you know what? He's got it, hasn't he? He's got the... He's got the edge. But he's also got that don't mess about with me, Edge. Whereas Eddie Earn, you know, trying to be everybody's mate. 
Do you know when Eddie Hearn walks into a room and shakes everybody's hand? Do you know when he walks out? Can you imagine what they say? Because I know what they say. Hmm. <laughs> and if Eddie knew, he'd never have him. He'd never have him. He'd never have him on a show again or working with him. But hmm. Dana White is the only man that can save boxing. I mean, we're the hardcore audience. We're the small people who get trampled on. Right? I've give up. I've give up a lot to do this. I'm 50 years of age next year. 50 years of age next year. I could be selling cars on a car pitch now, earning a good living. Instead of doing this for free. Because I believe in boxing. I believe that it can... It can get back to how it were. You know what I mean? Good fights. I, I want to see everybody fight everybody. Now, do you know what the UFC does? And what Dana White does that I like? He makes them all fight each other, doesn't he? That's what everybody says. You're going to fight him. There's none of that, oh, can I swear with him? There's none of this nonsense with swerving people, is there? You're going to fight. And you know, if they get beat, he brings them back, doesn't he? McGregor got beat. He brought him back. All them other ones, I don't know what names of them. I forgot the guy with it. He's got, right, is he Russian or something? Or whatever, I'm not sure, but he's got really bad cauliflowered ears. And he'd been beat or something, or one of them. He brings them back, doesn't he, Dana White, and gives them another chance. We have this mentality, don't we, in boxing, that if you get beat, that's it. That's why certain people won't fight certain people. Or they want to fight at home all the time, or they want certain refs or certain gloves. Dana White don't prove any of that. You're fighting him or you're not getting paid, that's it. And that's how boxing should be. That's how it should be. Do you know what I mean? Before I forget this time, shout out to RDX, our glove sponsors. Thanks for the gloves. Can't beat freebies, can you? But no, I just... It's just doing me head in. It's starting to annoy me now. It's starting to annoy me. But I think that Don King, what is he, and Don Bob Arum, they're not going to be here forever, are they? So Don King and Arum, they're on the way out, aren't they? Although... We were saying that 20 years ago, weren't we? Frank Warren's knocking on. Barry Hearn's already, already out at game, isn't he? He's letting Eddie run the show. So who is it that's going to take him on? We can't take him on. Our stable's not big enough. We've got a TV deal, free sports, but we're not big enough to take Eddie on. He's not bothered about our fighters. He's pinched a few of them, hasn't he? But he needs somebody to take him on. And to so Eddie ups his game. That's all. We need Dana White and Eddie Hearn going at it. That's what boxing needs. Dana White is the only one that can save it now. He's the only one that can save it, but... <laughs> Why would he want to give up what he's doing over there with UFC to take Eddie Hearn on? He's got UFC, hasn't he? That's how I look at it. Why would he want to give that up? And be bothered with boxers who don't want to do this fight, don't want to do that fight, oh I don't want to fight him or oh I'm going to move up away, I don't want to fight him or I'll swerve him or I'm pulling out, I've got an injury. What is all that about? If Dana White come into boxing, Tyson Fury would fight Joshua in a trilogy, he'd fight Wilder in a trilogy, he'd fight Dylan White, they'd make them all fight each other. He'd say look you're going to fight and these are contracts you've got. Even if you lose, we're going to bring you back. It'd make them all fight each other. I'm going to be here all night. I'm just going to keep churning videos out. And that's it. What's the point in going home when I've got all this inside me? I just want... I just want it, the best fights. Is it so wrong to want the good fights? I don't want to see Logan Paul against KSI. We will titles on undercard. What's that about? Hey, what is all that about? I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that at all. That's not good. Something about no gloves, isn't that? Sending me mad. Sending me mad. Something's got to be sorted. And we're all, all we're hearing is promises, promises, promises. 
Something's got to be sorted, that's all, what I think. I mean, I don't want to see Johnny Nelson coming out saying he's going to train KSI to fight some other guy in some no-mark fight or something. What is all that about? I don't want to see that. If they want to do that, go do it on a white collar show. Don't do it in boxing. Don't headline. Just because you do a few numbers on YouTube. I want to see proper boxing fights. The sport of boxing has been going over 120 years now, right? More in fact, isn't it? It's been going on since 18, whatever, late 18th century. Look, we want to see good fights and I just think that Dana White's the only one that can save it. Dana White can save us, so Dana White, get on your private jet, come over to England and come and see Big Porky and let's bounce some ideas around because we are the small minority, the silent majority, whatever you want to call us, hardcore boxing fans and the sport is being abused by Eddie Earn at the moment, it's being abused and nobody seems to be listening. Everybody's turning a blind eye. Boxers are turning a blind eye. People tell me things. They ring me up and tell me things. And I say, would you come on channel and say that? Oh, no, I can't come on your channel, Porky. Why? Oh, well, well you might not want to work with me down the line. Boxers, managers, small oil promoters, they're all telling me the same thing. But they don't say a word. Sky employees are telling me things. Eddie Hearn's fighters are telling me things. Liam Smith, a world champion, came out and said it, didn't he? Obviously, I don't know Liam Smith, but he came out on Twitter and said it, but his own fighters know what's going on. But nobody's saying a word. IFL TV, boxing social, behind the gloves. They all know what's going on, but they need the press pass. 